Rated M for Mature. There are some folks might be sore about what happened. Well, that's all in the past now. You gotta help me find the strength to forgive you. Everyone get to work. How was your first night in the yard? You mean my first night in prison? Some of these folks ain't too keen on leaving. It's up to us to figure out a way out of here. Bonnie, all I need from you is to just not care where I am for 15 minutes. What's up, guys? It's Celeb. Oh my god, I'm back again, and I just got done playing The Walking Dead Season 2's Episode 3 in Harm's Way. I'm totally stoked right now because it was such a good episode. Such a good episode. By far the best of Season 2. Uh, you start out, we'll talk about the story just straight out, get it out there. We're not going to be talking about, you know, the plot twist and blah, blah, blah. You start out exactly where the last episode left off. You and your group are being transported to Carver's, I guess his his grocery store slash prison. Um, you do see people from 400 Days. Uh, I don't want to, uh, I don't want to spoil it for anybody, but you do see some people from 400 Days. Depending on your choices, is who you're going to see. Um, you meet a couple of new characters, Jane. Um, I think you also meet Reggie, you meet a guy named uh, Mike, uh, who has a really effed up face, um, but <laughs> um, you, you meet a guy named Reggie, he's got one arm, and uh, you're there uh, with your entire group, and you are definitely a prisoner, and uh, you have to find a way of getting out of there, and I will say this, Carver... Probably the worst bad guy in all of Walking Dead. Counting the, the TV series, counting the video game, I think Carver is a pretty bad dude. He even he, He's right up there with the governor in the TV series. So Carver is a jackass, but he's voiced by Michael Madsen, who's also been in Reservoir Dogs and the Kill Bill series. Uh, uh, he... He's such a good actor because he plays the character so well. He plays the character so, so well. Um, and he really makes you hate the guy. <laughs> he really does. Um, but, uh, like always, Melissa Hutchin uh, Hutchinson, she comes out and she does a an amazing job as um, as Clementine. Uh, but, you know, like I said, it, it, it's, it's directly off of the last episode. You know, it's an episodic series. And this is by far the best uh, in Season 2. Uh, we can talk about the storyline. The storyline was really... It, there wasn't parts that kind of seemed like they were stretching it too much. Um, I feel that the, uh, the action in, in this episode was, was uh, really spaced out well. And, um, you know, the only thing... The only thing... Uh, I think... Uh, I think most of you can agree with me on this uh, is that you know there's a few times in the game that uh, you know some of the stuff does it does get a little annoying it does and I'm not I'm not even gonna lie about it I'm just gonna straight out say it Sarah is so freaking annoying in this game it's ridiculous oh my goodness it feels so good to have it off my chest. No, seriously, she's ridiculous in this game. 
you play Clementine, <laughs> an 11 year old girl, and Sarah is a 15 year old or 16 year old girl, and like Sarah can't can't, can't handle anything. She can't handle anything. She's so emotionally broken. Nothing can happen in the game without her freaking out or not being able to do something or her going oh, blah, 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 blah. You know, it's ridiculous. I just sounded I sounded like something from Hearthstone. Anyways <laughs> um, It's totally ridiculous and it, it is aggravating at, at certain points And I know that that was probably what they were really pushing in the game there they're having her as that third wheel that really is pushing you to the point of being like, Oh my God, shut up! Be quiet! You know, and there's a lot of times um, that uh, I actually played it twice already. And there was two times that I, you know, um, my emotional state, I got sick and tired of it. So I was an asshole to her. I was a complete asshole to her. I shouldn't have been, but I was. Um, but anyways, talking about the story, there are people that are going to die in this episode. There are, is definitely some death. The group gets pushed to um, probably the furthest it's been pushed uh, the entire series. Uh, they do some stuff in this that really starts to show their mental state of where they're, where they're at. And not in a bad mental state, but to the point of saying we're tired of putting up with the shit. We have got to watch out for our own. You know, and, and I just love that, dude. I love it, I love it, I love it. And uh, Gavin Hammond does an amazing job as Kenny. Uh, Kenny is definitely back, and he definitely shows that he's not putting up with shit this time around. He's trying to watch out for the group as much as he can. Um, but the audio, obviously, I've already talked about that. The voice acting is so freaking amazing. They did such a good job with this. The introduction of new characters like Mike. Uh, Reggie, uh, you also have, I think it's Jane, um, she's introduced, then there's another guy named Hank, um, you know, you don't really talk to Hank much, but he's still kind of, you know, out there as that, uh, asshole, and then there's the other jackass, Troy, and he's, he's like one of the bodyguards around there, and uh, I don't want to spoil anything, um, but, uh, you, you, you get to... You get to have some fun with Troy a little bit later, so it's kind of hard not to be like, yeah, yeah, jackass. Um, and also, uh, I think I, I think I'm pronouncing this right. It's Sarita, um, Kenny's girlfriend. She is she is getting um, you know she's an emotional wreck uh, as well. And I think there's a couple of women that are in a group that are kind of getting pull, uh, pushed to the to the breaking point of really not knowing what's what's gonna happen next so but like I said the guys at Telltale are just unbelievable and I know I'm kind of jumping around here and there I'm just so excited like it was such a good episode oh my gosh it was such a good episode the music the layout of the action um, and the the storyline and it was just so so good um, only problem that I, I can say was going on the loading, oh my goodness gracious, the loading, dude. Uh, I know it's a, still somewhat of a last-gen game, I guess is what you can say, or a current generation, not a next-gen game. But man, dude, my PlayStation 3, I'm sure, is just like everyone else's, and the loading is crazy, man. It takes, it takes, it doesn't take forever, but there's a lot of times that the loading screen pops up as a black screen. And you hear things going on in the background as of people talking, and then it stops for a second, and then it starts. And I'm like, oh my goodness. But other than that, it was a really, 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 really good episode, guys. Really good episode. Um, I didn't have any type of glitching, really big lagging. Only problem I had was the loading. So the storyline is unbelievable. I really don't want to give any spoilers away. Um, for you die-hard Walking Dead fans out there that are wanting to play this game, but it's just it's just a great game, dude. It's such a great game, man. I I, I applaud Telltale for what they're doing because the way that this episode ends, I can't I I cannot tell you how far my jaw dropped to the ground. It was so unbelievable, so unbelievable. It, I mean, it was somewhat. 
it was somewhat predictable um, that something crazy was going to happen. But, man, oh, my goodness gracious, dude. It all happened in, like, it all happened in, like, 15, 20 seconds. And you're like, oh, my God, oh, my God. Unbelievable, man. So that's it for me, guys. I know it was more or less like a rant review of me going blah, 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 blah. It was just so good. Holy crap. Keep up the freaking awesome work, guys, because you, you definitely have me a, a huge fan of this, and I cannot wait to see what you were going to have with Tales of Bo from the Borderlands, you know, uh, you know, Wolf Among Us in the long run. It's just uh, awesome, awesome. Nine out of ten, guys. I'm giving this a nine out of ten. Make sure to check out this this title right now. Uh, you can download it on the PlayStation Network or the Xbox 360's Xbox Live. Uh, it's just awesome. Check out Telltale Games at telltalegames.com. Peace out, guys.